Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Let's jump into some of the mails that we have had this week. Here's the beef stew meat I took out of the freezer. So what I like to do is go in and take some of these really big pieces and just cut them down a little. And then I'm gonna brown them up with some flour and seasoning and um, get it going. Okay, I have a bag of flour with a bunch of seasonings like seasoned salt, garlic, salt, pepper, and I'm just gonna throw the meat in, shake it up, and I have a pot ready with some heated oil just to brown it up. And we're not cooking it all the way through, we're just browning it. What I have done is I added some dark lager beer in my pot. Can I just tell you, having it without the beer and with the beer is a total game changer. We cannot have beef stew now without the beer. So once all it browned up, I added a half a cup of that flour mixture in and thickened and coated all the meat some more and then I added the beer and then I added about four cups of water and two cans of beef broth with um, half of a, a, you could put a small onion chopped really fine or you could use dry onion in there as much as you want. I added two bay leaves and three cloves of garlic and so now this is, I'm going to bring this to a boil and then get it to simmer for about an hour and then after that I'm going to add, um, you can add potatoes, I think today I'm going to do turnips and carrots and celery and some more onion and then when those are done we'll be having dinner. Okay, these are Terrell's Country Roll Scone Dough and um, so I'm just going to bake them up like this right now and I usually put them on a cookie sheet so they're going to bake up really weird but they are delicious. <laughs> Right now I'm working on dinner. I'm making chicken stovetop casserole and I have a whole bag of Zaycon chicken thighs in there uh, with some seasonings like sage, salt and pepper. Uh, I'm going to get that to a boil and get that cooking. And this is the bag from Zaycon and this was 48 ounces so 3 pounds of chicken tenderloins. So I have shredded the chicken and I put a can of cream of mushroom, a can of cream of celery, um, just eyeballed some uh, sour cream. Okay, I have my oven to 400 degrees. I sprayed my pan. I cooked up two boxes of chicken stovetop stuffing. Okay, now I'm just gonna layer the stuffing right on top of this. So my chicken is already cooked, so I don't need to cook this for very long. Um, the original recipe says 30 minutes, but I'm just gonna do about 15 minutes. We're gonna get this all goldeny brown and try to get it a little bubbly in the middle and hot all through. So I have a pot of water boiling and I'm going to be cooking up this elbow macaroni. I have rolls ready for the oven, just waiting for it to beep to get them in. I have a pound of ground beef in my pan here and I am chopping up some onion and green bell pepper to cook with the hamburger in that pan. This knife from Quiznart is super cool. I got it from Costco. I'm also gonna add in two cloves of garlic. And I'm just gonna start Browning this up and cooking it all together. And when it's done, I'm gonna add a jar of spaghetti sauce. Um, I think I have some downstairs. If I don't, I can make my own with some tomatoes that I have down there. Um, but I'm not too worried. <laughs> this is just a quick throw together meal. Okay, I'm out of sauce, which means I'm gonna need to make more. 
But I'm going to add in my pan, now that this is all browned up, some crushed tomatoes, some tomato sauce, petite diced tomatoes with sweet onions in here. And then we're going to add some seasonings and we'll go from there. Okay, to this I'm going to add some Italian seasoning, oregano, basil, rosemary, and parsley. I might add just a, like a half a teaspoon of sugar in just depending on the acidity of the tomatoes, but I'm gonna get this going. It is kind of watery, even though I drained the grease, so I might add some tomato paste in there as well. Okay, I added some salt in there as well, so I'm gonna let this cook. The pasta's cooking. I'm just gonna simmer away all this with the spices. So it needed a little something, so I added some anise. I, I pronounce it anise, and um, with a few little spritz of balsamic vinegar added some sugar in, I couldn't tell you how much, just to cut the acidity. Added a little more um, Italian seasoning, pepper, and oregano. So now I'm gonna let this simmer and let the flavors marry. And then when the, my rolls are done, and then when the macaroni is done, um, we'll drain it and we'll, I'll combine the sauce in with the pasta in this pot because it's big enough. Last minute thought, I'm sauteing up some zucchini with a little bit of butter, some Mrs. Dash Table Talk seasoning, and some lemon pepper. Um, you could throw this in with your sauce as well if you wanted to. I just totally forgot. So I'm going to get these going really quickly. Then I'll combine the sauce with the macaroni, and then we'll have dinner. The flavor of the sauce is so good. I'm glad I put the last two ingredients in made such a difference. So now I'm just combining this and we have our zucchini and our rolls and this is my fast fast dinner. I loved it when my mom would make this. She called it chop suey. I don't know why but she just did so now that's what I call it. And there is your fast dinner for tonight. Chop suey. Tonight for dinner we're gonna have country style ribs so I have a pack here. Okay, so I'm going to put these ribs into my crock pot with a bottle of hickory smoked barbecue sauce. This is going to cook pretty much the whole day. And then we'll pair it with some coleslaw and some sautéed vegetables and it's going to be yummy. Okay, I did put some salt and pepper onto the ribs and now I'm going to add the barbecue sauce. Oh my goodness, we started eating and I almost forgot to show you the end result. So I put them in at noon and um, I turned them to warm like around 6.15. So they are so tender, and I made some coleslaw, mixed it together and put it in the fridge for a little while so it can marry. And then Derek sauteed up some asparagus, and that is dinner. Tonight for dinner, Derek is smoking up those lake quarters that I bought on my last grocery haul, if you saw that. So we have half in barbecue sauce and half in Italian marinade, like Italian dressing. Oh, they're both gonna be good, I can't wait, I love Leg quarters, absolutely love them. And I love um, when they're cooked on the smoker and then I love it when the skin gets crispy. All right, came to temperature. Woo, look how good. He added more barbecue sauce and more seasoning. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. I don't know what to call this chicken, so let's just call it Greek chicken. So what you're going to do is heat up a tablespoon or so of olive oil in your pan. You can add four small boneless chicken breasts or chicken thighs. I used about six chicken thighs. I did season the chicken with some salt and pepper. You can cover this chicken and cook it on medium high for about five minutes on each side or until browned. Then I'm stirring in a fourth a cup of this craft dressing, Greek vinaigrette. It is so yummy. And I'm adding one fourth cup chicken broth. Blend that all together, bring to simmer, and cook for another three minutes. I added in one onion chopped and one teaspoon of dried thyme leaves. Then add one red pepper sliced and some black olives. One fourth cup feta cheese. Cook just until the vegetables are tender and you're done. We served ours over rice and it was delicious. Thank you so much for watching you guys. There are links down below to a lot of these recipes. Just click on the link and enjoy.